Hello everyone. Today we're gonna test a 7,000 milliamp LiPo battery on the X380C to see if it really gives it that added flight time. Uh, if you see here, <clears throat> this is the stock battery that comes with the X380. It's an 11.1 volt, 5400 milliamp 20C LiPo battery. And now, currently, the Hubson H109S has this um, 7000 milliamp, 11.1, 25C LiPo battery that also happens to be of the same, well, not exactly the same, but very similar in size to the stock battery of the X380C. As you can see here, they're almost they're very similar. This one, the 7,000 milliamp is a little longer, but it should still be able to fit in the X380. It's a little heavier, uh, but it has a lot more juice in it. Uh, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna have a little fun with it. We're going to uh, use the um, FAP feature, the fly around point feature of the X380. And basically we're just gonna have it, we're gonna do a time lapse of the uh, aircraft going around in circles for the duration of the battery life. So, um, I mean, this one, they advertise it as 30 minutes with nothing on the aircraft, but in this case, it's fully loaded. I mean, it has the uh, gimbal, the HD camera, even a transmitter, uh, you know, FPV transmitter on there. So with all that weight, and not only that, I, I think the transmitter and the camera are also uh, pulling juice from the battery as well to power those up. Uh, I think they advertise it as around maybe even 22, 21 minutes, maybe 20 minutes with the stock battery. So we're gonna see if maybe with the 7,000 milliamp battery, we can bump that up to, you know, at least five, six, seven, eight minutes more, who knows? So uh, we're gonna test that out and uh, we're gonna do the same test for both batteries, the fly around point, just have it fly around until the uh, rear LED starts flashing red, which indicates uh, it's running low. Okay, so we've got the uh, stock battery in there. Um, just close this guy up. We've got the uh, controller already on. Okay, everything's all ready to go with the stock battery. And we're just gonna take her up and uh, set the fly around point. So as you can see, we have her uh, doing the uh, fly around point with the stock battery. And uh, we're gonna see how long she does that for. And then we're gonna try it with the 7,000 milliamp battery to see if there's a big difference in uh, how long it does the fly around point. Okay, so we've uh, completed the fly around with the stock battery. Um, or we flew around until this uh, red light started uh, blinking, indicating that uh, battery level is low. And it came in at just over 15 minutes. Uh, I believe it was 15 minutes and 26 seconds. I gotta look at the stopwatch. I'm guessing that it, the reason it was very low is, uh, well, not only it was in constant flight, it, 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 I didn't leave it just hovering there. Uh, not, you know, it, it was in a constant circular flight. But on top of that, I have this thing fully loaded, you know, with weight. And uh, as you see, the camera and the transmitter are plugged into the power supply. So um, they're also 
uh, taking in um, voltage as well. So uh, yeah, so f about a little over 15 minutes, that's reasonable for the stock battery. Now let's see what the 7,000 milliamp battery can do. Let's put this one in. Okay, so now we've uh, pushed in the 7,000 milliamp battery. Um, I guess a word of caution or something that you should be aware of if you decide to take this route is even though the battery is very similar in size and proportions to uh, the stock battery, the little bit of um, extra size that it has does cause you to have to wedge this in a little more uh, than normal. So it is very tight in there and the wires and the door, you could barely close the door, just, you know, almost do it. So just be aware that it is really cramped and tight in there. So I guess there's a higher risk of maybe damaging something, but uh, so just be aware of that. Uh, so even if you do get a little longer flight time, uh, you do run a small risk of maybe damaging something by push, having to push it in there. Anyhow, so now let's take this bird up and see what she does. Okay, so we have uh, GPS with the 7,000 milliamp battery. And uh, let's take her up and do the same um, fly around point. Okay, so right now it's uh, turning red, so we got to bring her down. Here we go. Well, this is a surprise. Uh, the 7,000 milliamp battery actually came in a little less than the stock battery for some reason. Uh, even though I had fully charged both batteries just shortly before this flight. Um, this clocked in at 13 minutes and 5 seconds, a couple of minutes less than the stock battery. Uh, my guess might be uh, the added weight. Uh, the battery is kind of uh, more dense. It's more dense and thicker and bulkier than the stock battery. So I'm guessing that added weight really put a lot of stress on these uh, rotors. So, uh, to be honest with you, it might not be worth doing this uh, because not only do you run the risk of damaging the internals by having to stuff this in there, you know, push it in, but on top of that, uh, it's, it adds more weight and I don't think you really get much flight time. I'd have to do more tests. This is just the first initial try I, I guess maybe if I did this several times maybe I'd get different results but I have a feeling it wouldn't deviate much from that I have a feeling you'd probably get just about the same time and if you do get a little extra time it probably is not that much you might get a minute or two so um, I was hoping maybe for an extra you know four or five maybe six minutes but uh, it doesn't seem like that's the case so Anyhow, let me know if you have different results. Uh, once again, this is the fully loaded C version. Well, actually, I, I think it's on the internet as CD because this also has the uh, FPV transmitter, which also takes up a little, little tiny more weight and a little more juice on the battery. Uh, but yeah, this one is fully loaded uh, with the Phantom 3 propellers, the X380. So. Uh, maybe if you have the stock uh, simple version uh, with nothing underneath, no camera, no nothing, maybe the results might differ. You might get maybe longer flight times with this. But with the full setup, uh, the stock battery actually does better. Uh, another thing could be is that this battery, the stock battery, is rated at 20C while this uh, X4 battery is at 25C. Uh, so, you know, maybe that discharge rate uh, has an impact on this as well. But 
So guys, my recommendation is stick to your stock battery. They do have a uh, 56 milliamp battery that I believe is also at 20C or maybe 25C. I, I'm gonna try that and uh, maybe po post that in the comments below. Uh, I have a feeling it's probably very similar. The results are very similar to this, so. But uh, yeah, definitely stick with either 54 or 56 uh, for this model. Apparently the 7,000 milliamp battery is just uh, too bulky and heavy for this. Uh, and also, this is very difficult to remove as well. Uh, so now I'm gonna have to spend, uh, you know, half a minute here trying to pull this out gently without having to um, damage it. So, all right, those are my findings with the X380C FPV model and the 7000 milliamp battery. Thanks.